what do we got? What do we got? So the is more likely without immediate family able to move about the city freely only spotted a handful of times near the crimes. Where's the station? I used to go visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years. When I went with Ron today, it was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the bell killer case. Everything they know or even guess might be related. It's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room. I think there was some religious observance going on in there. Never seen anything like it. Okay, Devil's Police Purpose. Virtually no evidence that they've seen a foul play except the belt symbol, no prints, no DNA, no media suspects. Karen Mary Douglas, female, 37 years of age, counted and unmarried. No criminal record, no violent relationships. Socially known for Wednesday night Ouija board parties. Gratitude. Her ex is grateful to Nerona for helping Julia through her mental illness. Huh. Alright, I'm sorry, I left your B. Let's see, so you. Something else I can do. Just not care about that. There we go. In a bit. A Grace personal foe. Anne Grace, no legal middle name. Female, 22 years old. No media family. Publicly went by the name of Madame Agatha, a novelty fortune teller. What the heck? Which is the second hide? Oh, there's definitely been a demon in there. Oh, and Baxter tried to touch me. Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past. This is my past hasn't already done all the damage you can do. Hmm, I can hide, but I don't see anybody. gets his badge. Big day, I never thought this would happen. Between Ronan actually going through with this and Rice pulling off the paperwork and managing Ronan's past, so much could go wrong, but it happened and my man has a badge now. 
Looks good on him and he loves it. I think his swag has just got even bigger. Gotta love a guy in uniform. Uh, man. Running into trouble with the law. I always knew there had been trouble, but I didn't know his official arrest record was that extensive. Much worse than I thought. Finally, after finally going back to childhood, it's like his life was already ruined. How can I join my life with his? Plain clothes cop. It was quite a trick Rex pulled to advance and run into a detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him most effective as a plain clothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. Just one more. Map of killings. We are exploring the possibility of a connection between the deaths list and the map. Do not make public comment on the connection to officially authorized. Uh, oh, jeez. Baxter's room. Sounds like nowhere else. Baxter. Are you, Are trying, you trying to get, to get caught? caught? You're about, about as stealthy as a tornado. tornado. <sighs> That's like that when we got here. Yeah. How many places can we find a Shot, obviously. Looks like, like someone was hiding your real machine. machine. Now I have proof. Oh, you never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. Alright, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. You know, finally, what is his mother's book? Rex surrendered Baxter from blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. Inside the sweat. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random and related. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Insights on the killer's motives. The pattern of behavior in the killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother. She's having trouble convincing them to take it seriously. Give me a message. So I'm gonna have to message some bastards for a smell. What? From oh, Baxter's promotion. Man, he was so proud of making detective. Jab and protect. Academy class photo. Baxter graduated from the academy two years before I did. Terrors of 1692. What? Salem history buff? Max has been reading about Salem's history. It doesn't seem like something you would care about. Bragging. Born champion. So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Ticket. Baxter's ticket. How about Baxter leave town? Hmm. 
check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now. Rex is still asking for the book, so it's probably still in here somewhere. Good. Hmm. Baxter had the book. I should probably had the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Book. 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 Uh, uh, that mark on the wall. Does it? Kinda. Body alarm? actually opens some hinges like it's covering a secret compartment area. And a lever. I see you. Strange dodge secures the gun rack on one side, that's not normal. Hmm. I think I, think I, found, I found it. it. Show me. There's a plug button inside that gun. Yes, this is it. Please, Please tell, tell me you understand, understand what all these symbols are. Yes. Some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God. That means he was after her. You don't know. Come on, we should move. Crap. Wait, what is that? Mystery Museum? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in the book? I don't know. Just, just, just take it and we'll figure it out later. Later. She's here somewhere. I'll we'll check her. Head towards the back office. We gotta go. go. Stay, Stay out of sight. Go, go, go! go. <sighs> Gala invitation? Seeing what stream resume Gala Flyer. What would this be in her mother's book? on this phone? No. Do you mind answering this phone? Do you mind? He does not care at all. Something I don't like it. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex, who's that? Cop, you need to move away. Right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, away from my signal. Hey, empty. Go, 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 go. description of clothing. And this said she saw a man in a dark hoodie watching matching the public description dark pants and shoes to not get a look at his face. I wasn't here, was I? 
Ah, uh, here you are. We're looking through the series of mysterious prestige artifacts. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. When we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big the modern place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a mono world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. And one officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late-night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, is gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Well, I didn't either, until I saw it with my eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I took off running. The captain didn't believe me. And dock my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I was telling the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. Hmm. Why can't I possess you? Weird. Pat, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Oh, I got what I need, so. Hey, yeah. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're going to get yourself killed. How would I just leave it on? Oh, you won. Half truths and whole lies. Uh, now what? Wait, what? Am I supposed to do something here? It's an investigation. Stuck on business, Rex. The heck, this is weird. No, I wouldn't say that. Confused. I've been in the force nearly 20 years, and I'm still alive. 
shakes you up, but it does happen. Maybe more. I feel like something's supposed to happen, but I think it broke it. This one? Nope. I don't. I don't actually don't know. This one? Oh, what the heck is it? <laughs> Joining me, my help to find her missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell killer. 